Hola, bonjour, mambo, hello. It's me, Mrs. B, and welcome to Mrs. B's Book Nook. Let's read and learn about books. Today, we're reading informational books about rescue dogs. My nephew loves Paw Patrol. Have you seen that show? It's a show about a group of dogs that help people in their community. They save people when they're hurt and rescue people when they're lost or in danger. I found informational books all about rescue dogs like those in Paw Patrol so we can learn all about them. These books are called informational. Can you say informational? Great job! Informational books give you information about a topic. They've even got really cool features to make learning super fun and easy. Like captions. Captions are words next to pictures that give you information about your topic. You'll find bold words in informational books too. Bold words are new words written in big bold letters. If you want to know what those new words mean, you can look in the back of the book at the glossary. The glossary is a list of all the new words in the book and what they mean. There are lots of things I'd like to learn about rescue dogs. Whenever I'm wondering something or I have a question, you'll see this picture. And I've got lots of questions. Like, how do they help people? And how do they become rescue dogs? What questions do you have? Interesting questions. I think that if we read our informational book, we'll get the answers to our questions. I really want to remember everything that I learned about rescue dogs, so I better take some notes. I'm going to need something to write with so I can write everything that I learned in my notebook. You should get your materials too. You need a pencil and a notebook and somewhere comfy to sit. If you need more time, pause the video here and press play when you're ready. Are you ready to read with me? Let's get started. Meet a search and rescue dog. I'm a search and rescue dog. I help find missing people. <coughs> woof, woof. Wow, look at this picture. This picture has labels. Labels are words that tell you what you're looking at in the picture. They even have arrows to point to the different things in the picture so you know what you're looking at. Like here, this is the handler. The handler helps train the dog. And this is the search and rescue dog. And look, there's even a caption. Captions are words next to the picture that give you more information about your topic. This caption says, a search dog works with a human partner. This person is called a handler. And we can see the handler right there in the picture. My handler takes me to the place where a person got lost. Then I go to work. The caption here says, dogs work day and night. Wow, rescue dogs are hard workers. I wonder how these dogs find people. Let's keep reading and we'll find out. How do dogs like me find people? We use our noses. Whoa, I got my answer. Rescue dogs use their noses to find people. And look at this picture. It shows a dog smelling to find someone. And the caption says, some dogs can smell a person half a mile away. Whoa, they've got some super noses. I want to make sure that I remember that rescue dogs find people by using their noses. So we better write that in our notebooks. Here are some writing words that you can use to help you take notes. They use people find their. We can use these words to help us take notes as we read. I'll write rescue dogs at the top of my page first for my heading. So when I want to read these notes later, I'll know what topic I was writing about. Let's write our note. They use their nose to find people. If you need more time to write, pause the video here and press play when you're ready. Let's get back to the book. Search dogs look for people lost in the woods. We sniff around to find the person's scent. Then we follow it. Scent? What's that word mean? Wait a second. It's written in big, bold letters. That 
that's a bold word. That means it's a new word. Let's go to the glossary and look it up. A scent is a smell. Oh, so when the search and rescue dog is following someone's scent, they're following the way the person smells. Now that we know what that word scent means, let's get back to the book. Here's where we left off. Look at this great picture. It shows a search and rescue dog finding someone who's lost in the woods. And the caption on the picture says, some search dogs bark when they find someone. And this tells the handler to come over. I wanna make sure that I remember that search dogs bark when they find someone. So we better write that in our notebooks. Let's write our note. They bark when they find people. If you need more time to write, pause the video here and press play when you're ready. Let's get back to the book. Search dogs also look for missing people after a disaster. Disaster? What's that mean? Oh, it's a bold word. I can see those big bold letters. Let's go to the glossary and look it up. A disaster is a sudden event that causes terrible damage or suffering. Oh my gosh, so a disaster is when people really need help and search and rescue dogs come right to the rescue during a disaster. Now that we know what a disaster is, let's get back to the book. We climb over buildings that fell down. We sniff for people buried under rubble. Rubble? What's that mean? Wait, it's a bold word. Let's go to the glossary and look it up. Rubble is broken pieces of rock, bricks, and other building materials. Search and rescue dogs can smell people if they're buried under rubble. Wow, these dogs are amazing. Let's get back to the book and learn more about them. Wow, look at this picture. The search and rescue dog is climbing over the rubble and sniffing to find people. It says that disasters such as tornadoes can destroy buildings. So after a disaster like this, you really do need a search and rescue dog to help you find people. After a dog finds someone, rescue workers uncover the person. People who are hurt are brought to a hospital. You can see in this picture that the rescue workers are taking this man to the hospital. The caption says that dogs can smell a person buried under 30 feet of rubble. Let's write our note. They find people under rubble. If you need more time to write, pause the video here and press play when you're ready. Let's get back to the book. These are very helpful dogs. I'm wondering how they become rescue dogs. Who teaches them? How do dogs learn to find people? As puppies, handlers train us. You can see in the picture that there's a handler training the search dog. The caption says, search dogs learn to follow a person's smell. I wonder what other things they learn from their handler. We are taught to walk safely over rubble. We learn to bark when we find someone. Even in the pictures, you can see them being trained. The caption says, search dogs learn to walk through tunnels and climb ladders. They've gotta learn a lot from their handlers. Their handlers are great trainers. I wanna make sure that I remember that it's the handler that trains the dog. So we better write that in our notebook. Let's write our note. Their handler trains them. If you need more time to write, pause the video here and press play when you're ready. Let's get back to the book. We love using our sniffing skills. With our handler's help, we save lives. And look at this adorable dog in his vest. He's getting a reward. The caption says that search dogs get a reward when they do a good job. And if they're saving lives, they deserve all the rewards they can get. This informational book taught me a lot about rescue dogs. I learned that they use their noses to find people. They just follow their scent. And they bark when they find people. So the handler knows where they are and they can take them to the hospital. 
They can even find people under rubble. And rubble is our broken pieces of rocks and bricks. They can smell them from all the way under the rubble. And they learn all of this from their handler. Their handler trains them. What did you learn about rescue dogs? Whoa, you learned just as much as I did. Informational books can teach us a lot. Next time, we'll be reading fiction books and talking about all the different kinds of cool characters you can find in them and how to describe them. I'll see you soon. I can't wait to read with you. Bye. To talk about your reader's needs and how Mrs. B's Reading Room can help you meet them, book your free consultation today at www.mrsbsreadingroom.com. A big shout out to Epic Virtual Library for providing our reading material today.